Jonah on a slightly different note. Mm. You've partnered with Facebook and Twitter on viewability measurement. And everyone heard George said that the in-feed mobile ad viewability portion of the standard is still outstanding. Um, how are you handling that? And does intent come into play in the case of the newsfeed environment? Yeah, so I think there's a few things. So one, I think it's important, if, if you actually go back and read the, the document that the MRC released on April 1st, it actually says the current standard applies to newsfeed as well uh, as, as everywhere else. And I think what it says, and George, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, is that the MRC is open to looking at new data and information that could potentially revise that. But as we sit, and until there's a change, if and until there's a change, uh, the 50% the for two seconds for video and 50% for one second in display does apply to all mobile environments, including newsfeed. Um, now, what would I say about newsfeed? A, a couple of things. First of all, you're right, we're, we're live with Facebook and Twitter um, as two examples. I think that it's worth understanding in mobile, uh, and, and frankly, this is the digital challenge, is that environments are not consistent. So if I said that I showed an ad to every single person in this room today, that doesn't have a consistent, you don't picture something immediately. That might have been a text ad in feed somewhere, that might have been at the bottom of a mobile page, it might have been an adhesive, it might have been a video, it could have been, it could have been a lot of things. And versus TV, where George talks about some of the standards that, that I think we're trying to learn from, uh, and maybe they have or don't have in those environments, uh, there's consistency there. And so I think when you get into mobile and you get into newsfeed environments, it's different than, than I think how we've, we've learned advertising has happened historically on the internet, which was you consume content and an ad is adjacent to that content. That's different in a newsfeed uh, environment where the user is choosing whether or not to stop for a piece of content or an ad. A piece of content or an ad that, by the way, takes up 80% of the screen on a mobile device, uh, as an example. And so the user can choose to stay there, the user can choose to tap it, to engage with it, to uh, uh, watch it, or, or not. And I do think that it's worth pointing out that it's, it's different. And, and I don't know that from our perspective, uh, we're saying one is better than the other. I do think that, that uh, it's worth understanding the differences, it's worth understanding how different definitions would impact uh, the user. And ultimately, George said something which I think is exactly right, which is we have to ask questions about cognition. Can you actually see and have the opportunity to see uh, an ad? And what are the minimum thresholds? Remember, the MRC standards are not effectiveness guidelines. They're minimum thresholds for an opportunity to see. Uh, and so I think we need to draw the line somewhere. And I think ultimately, from our perspective at Moat, we need to move forward as an industry. We've now been talking about viewability for five years. Uh, we need to establish the fact that, yes, there will be human beings. There will have to be ads that are there. But ultimately, we need to get to a better place where content can be valued uh, for, for its true value, which I think is, is way beyond the fact that an ad simply showed up on a mobile device or on a web page. So you gave part of the answer to the question well, I'm going to ask you later. Um, so just to um, reiterate, because this is mobile conference, and I want to make sure everyone <laughs> understands how in newsfeed environments should be handled. I know Jonah talked about the interpretation of the standard as it exists today in public comment. What, how would you handle it? Same way. I, I think Jonah described it accurately. What we're saying right now to the marketplace is the current MRC standard is the one and two second desktop standard for mobile. We've actually been that way since we issued interim guidance about a year ago. And the current standard that's in public comment does not alter that. It adds a bunch of stuff around it. There's a lot in the, that standard, but it doesn't change those parameters. And what we're saying is we're continuing to study the news feed environment discreetly, and we may change the parameters in that niche environment uh, depending on what we learn. But for now, all the data we've looked at uh, that uh, you know, we're, we've fully processed leads us to believe that the desktop standard is okay. Uh, as I mentioned before, that data didn't have a lot of discrete newsfeed data in it. So that's where we are. We're, we're looking at that data and we may modify the standard. 